What's up, Yuki Dubers? It's Harpy Hunter 89 and the voices in my head coming at you from the Duelist Den. Now, today's video is the top 10 most powerful light attribute archetypes. Now, if you see my post on the Duelist Den Facebook page or Zodiac Duelist, then you will know that I had some trouble with not only this video, but the dark attribute video as well. So I'm having to reshoot these videos and I'm getting them reposted for you. But anyway, the only condition you had to meet in order to make this list is that every monster in your archetype had to be light attribute that unfortunately disqualifies blue eyes as blue eyes chaos max dragon is dark attribute and that disqualifies light swarms now as well as they have their new twilight sworn support which is a bunch of dark monsters so with that being said let's go ahead and start the video number 10 is battery men battery men are a very very good archetype they are a fan favor of people who like to play this game they rely on special summoning boosting their own attacks and they do have some recursion cards built into their archetype now battery men by themselves are not very powerful but as i said they can do a bunch of good special summons which allows them to go into their rank four plays you can even toss in some tuner monsters into this deck for synchro plays as well number nine is star seraph now so the only thing star seraph really does is they have the ability to special summon each other upon summons. Uh, now this is really good for a tech option in a lot of decks such, to, such as Constellar and Satellar. They've been teched into Cyber Dragons as well. Uh, I've seen people tech them into Light Swarns. But they have easy access to rank 4 plays and it just makes them a very good tech option because of that. Number 8 is Herald. <clears throat> now the Herald archetype is solo on this list Merely because within their own archetype, they don't really have a lot of special summon capabilities. Mostly, it's their ritual monsters that make them so good. But every herald monster has the ability to negate an effect. Well, at least every herald monster that is in the main deck. Uh, the herald no or the herald effect monsters can discard themselves and another fairy type monster to negate effects. And the rituals just require you to negate or to discard a fairy to negate effects as well. Uh, they have one Synchro and one Xyz as well. They have some uh, special summoning effects or effects that use, are used from the graveyard. Um, but the Rituals, the Xyz, and the Synchro are really what puts this deck on this list. Number seven is Heretic. Heretics rely on tributing each other from their hand or field to special summon each other. And they gain effects when they are tributed. Uh, they also have really good field control and access to rank 8 monsters, such as the Galaxy Xyz monsters. Number 6 is Cyber Angel. Cyber Angel is a ritual based deck. Uh, they can search each other. They have the recursion of not only their monsters, but of the ritual spells as well. Uh, they have a variety of different effects for whatever situation you need. Uh, but Cyber Angels, personally, I think they could have done a little bit better with the cyber angels but it is a fan favorite uh, it was used by alexis rhodes in the anime and manga uh and it only just recently got all of us new support but because of how powerful the ritual monsters are in their base attack and defense and with the variety of attacks they have uh that is why they made this list number five melodious now everybody knows about the melodious lock but what they don't know is that Melodious have a variety of separate abilities. Uh, they gain effects when they're special summoned. They have built-in protection. They have built-in special summons. They have recursion. They have powerful fusion monsters. But the Melodious Lock is really what makes this deck powerful. Because it stops your opponent from uh, destroying your monsters by battle, by card effects, or even targeting them. Number four is the Union machines that's the abc unions and the vw xyz unions they are union and contact fusion based uh the unions provide protection and boost they have recursion effects the fusions can control the field and they have very powerful stats in and of themselves uh the thing that makes this deck so powerful though is the new support the abc monsters uh this deck was used by kaiba in the anime and manga uh, he only used it for one episode, I believe, in the anime, but it's still a very powerful deck. Number three is Psy Frames. Psy Frames is a very pain in the ass deck to get around. They can, special, they can special summon each other from anywhere via the hand field or graveyard. They have built-in search. They have built-in negation. They have control effects via banishing your opponent's hand or monsters that are on their field. 
and their Synchro Monsters boast some pretty decent stats as far as attack and defense are concerned. Number two, Artifacts. Artifacts have built-in special summon capabilities. They rely on destroying themselves in the spell and trap zone. They can set themselves in the spell and trap zone. They have built-in destruction, search, control. This is just one of those all-around decks. It is very versatile, and it is very splashable in a number of other things, such as the hat deck. It has been splashed in with cyber dragons and light swarms, with harpies, and several other things as well. The number one most powerful light attribute deck is... And this should be no surprise to anyone is, of course, Bujins. Bujins have their effects to activate in the graveyard. They have built-in special summons. They have search. They have protection effects. They can discard themselves to the graveyard. They have boost effects. Uh, they have recursion. What makes this deck so powerful, though, is that their monster effects activate in the graveyard and is very hard to get around effects that do so. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, tell your friends and family and everyone you know who's interested in this game about this channel. I love seeing the number of views on my videos. I also love seeing people subscribe to my channel. Right now, I'm trying to get up to 100 subscribers by May 29th, which is my birthday. And I could use some help doing that. But until next time, this is Harpy 189 and the voices in my head, signing off. Take a shot at me around the side by side. It's a blur as I go by. Fire!